experiences. Lola Buns opened up the jewelry store today. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I want to hold you for a quick moment. Yes. We have a segment called Smoke and Mirrors. Okay. okay. That's where we go through like our news stories. You know what I'm saying? We we try to keep it local, but we go all over the place and we try to keep it hip hop as much as possible. Okay. You know, without getting up into the mix up, mix up. Okay. Okay. Right? <laughs> and for the people who are just tuning into the listening, um, um, the listening part of this. We got Lola Buns in the motherfucking uh, building. Chill. The one that hits that in our wallet. These rappers is bugging. You live in the burbs and you act like you came up from nothing. And, and, gang, and the squad. Gang. And the squad. Yeah. You know what um, what's going on in the news right now? And, you know, it's it, it's... I feel like you can bring some good perspective because we don't like to bring up Toronto rappers a lot of times mm. with other Toronto rappers in the room. That's true. Right? Sometimes it gets a little touchy. It gets a little touchy. <laughs> it's a little right? touchy. But YG has just been arrested a few days ago um, mm. from when we were taping this um, for a gun possession. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Possession of a firearm? Or yeah, or possession of a firearm, as you know, the, the, the legal terms. That's stuff, what he right? was charged with? Yeah, 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 yeah. So right now... We're losing a lot of rappers in the scene. Mm. What do you think we could do to stop losing the rappers? Not even just the gun violence of guys dying and stuff, but like shit. Like guys are getting to a certain point, mm. and then boom, him top five just a few days before that. Mm. I mean, fuck, man. I mean, yeah, like like sometimes it's it's just your circle that you keep. Like like sometimes you're just guilty by association, mm. and a lot of these cases, you know what I mean? Like like. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of these cases, just, like, you're really guilty by association. Like, me, I roll, like, solo most of the time, to be mm. honest. Like, I, I got... I'm I'm good, like, in every hood and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I'm good yeah. with people, but... But especially if you're an artist and, you know what I mean, you just got to really just watch the circle you keep. Mm. You got to watch where you're... You know what I mean? Who you're going with, who's around you, who's in your ear, like, who you're taking advice from. You know what I mean? Like... That's that's really that's right really now. that's really what it is, and mm-hmm. I feel like a lot of artists they'll be more protected that way too. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Even like to, to stay on that for a quick second, and like just to take it away from YG, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, because he was allegedly you know arrested for a firearm. Mm. Do you think it's more dangerous to be a rapper these days than than it was back in the day? Um, I mean. It depends, you know what I mean. Like I, I always say, like just, just try to keep the the politics out of rap. You know what I mean. Sometimes mm-hmm. you just gotta like stay out of politics, and you just gotta, you know, yeah. you gotta watch who's around you, and and sometimes you just gotta watch what you say too. Mm-hmm. You know what facts. I mean? Because they're rare hotheads. Like you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I'm Big saying? Like facts. that. You know what I mean? Like trust me. No, it's the truth. Trust yeah, me. Man. Well, shit, man. Salute to YG. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Hold your head. Hopefully, you know, you can come out of this with a positive outcome. Mm-hmm. What we need to do is try to figure out a way where YG, not YG specifically, but anybody has to be carrying a gun. Like, we have to figure out a way we could stop it. Where, like, he doesn't have to feel like, you know what? I could just, I don't need to walk with that today. Mm-hmm. You know, like, yeah. if everyone could just, like, have that mentality where, like, you know what? Yeah. I don't need to walk with that today. And then I feel like, you know, sometimes it really, it comes down to mental health because... We don't really talk about that in the in the in the black community, in the hip hop community. Just, it, like it, it, a lot of niggas just really have PTSD. Oh, facts. Like a lot of people 90% just really of, 90% have percent of Toronto niggas PTSD. have PTSD. And 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 you know that's it, it comes back to like mentorship and stuff like that. Like these mm. are things people don't even some people don't even know what that is. Post traumatic stress disorder. Like yes. and you know what I mean? They're not addressing it. They're not addressing it. You know what I mean? Like for being in a car and 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 a, and a police is behind you and you're tense up like why mm. why are we like that you know it's what i mean so stress. i mean there's a, a lot fact. there's a lot of there's a, that's a whole workshop you know what i mean yeah, like yeah. <laughs> well um are you got, still doing workshops yeah yeah i am actually I'm, i am actually i'm actually working on some some projects and my bro's working on some project with, with tantalization nice um you know what i mean working with artists and and just working with young people um you know and i have I'm, I'm still doing workshops you know what i mean addressing you know um different things through spoken word and storytelling and things like that as well nice. so it's, there's a lot of stuff in the works you know nice mm-hmm. um there's another story i want to get to here also um salute to we love hip-hop alumni greasy dex yeah. he just got a distribution deal uh, um big. with um nice. for his song clubhouse hmm. um it's with a company called uh frick, i forgot the name of the company but I'll, it'll pop up on the visual on the screen, right? Okay. So I'm hoping it's a one-song deal. 
Mm. Okay, like um Oh, um, distribution for only one song? Yeah, for the song Clubhouse. Oh, I right? I've heard, I guess oh, yeah. he's heavy on Clubhouse, right? Okay. Um and I'm hoping that it's just a one song licensing deal, mm-hmm. right? So just to get kind of techy for a second or technical, a licensing deal is like, you know, when people are able to have your song licensed for a specific amount of time, yeah. you know what I mean? They can play it and, you know, you know, get money from you using your song and they pay you up front. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then after that, those terms are done, then, you know, it's back to the you. Deal's you know over. what I'm saying? Yeah. But you can still go use your song and do your thing, mm-hmm. but this person is licensing it, like a stadium or whatever, whatever. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Nice. Now, my question to y'all, is it smart to sign a record deal in these times? Because now you could do shit on your own. <sighs> so I'm always <laughs> I'm always big on sis making sure that, you know, she stays independent. Because you have to look at it like this. You know, being here in Toronto, it's a it's diversity, right? Mm-hmm. And it's numbers based off people. We're Nigerian. Nigeria has a population of 250 million people, mm-hmm. right? Talking you shit. go out there... You know, you promote your record at the radio station. You have potentially 250 million fans. Mm. That's not even including mm-hmm. the fact that you're from Toronto, where everyone's from everywhere. <laughs> Jamaica, China, they're from everywhere. So when you really look at it, if you properly promote your things and if everybody kind of, and you get into, you know, the right channels and you talk to the right mentors, mm-hmm. I don't see a reason why, you know, things can't blow. And you have to look at the examples before us too, Right. You know, you get to a certain level, you know, all the labels are looking at, you know, notably, you look at Tory Lanez, he's not signed. He's probably making the most bread out of a lot of people. Mm. But a lot of people just look at the hype. They look at like, you know, who's popping up on their Snapchat. But when you really look at numbers and you look at how much money you're actually making off of that record. Right. You know, it's it makes sense. Like, you know, when my sis does all her shows, you know, she she was at South by Southwest doing shows, all these different things. It's like every single dollar comes back to her mm-hmm. rather than it being split three Divided. ways and yeah. you end up with a little change. Yeah. You know what I mean? You can't even buy a little, little gold chain with the thing, you know? Mm-hmm. So um, I think in this day and age, it is smart to be independent, but it's also believing in your stuff mm-hmm. because, you know, when you're looking at all of these rappers, you know, my sister's talking about, you know, family and, you know, she's talking about like real things. It's not because it's fake. It's because it's what she goes through. is what she's seeing. It's what she's talking about. Yeah. And it's like where your heart is at. When your heart is, <clears throat> is good at the end of the day, as, as much as they don't promote it, it goes far. People remember you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I remember we, um, my sister did a show in New York and, um, you know, the show was dope, but a lot of the rappers were just, you know, the same old content. No one was really paying attention. Mm-hmm. You know, my sister came on stage and all of a sudden, like, I saw the whole room shift. You know what I mean? People that were talking before, they're like, yo, 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 let's let's hear this. You know what I mean? And then, you know, we're Nigerian. You know, you talk about spiritual, you talk about vibes. Like, that stuff is very real, you know? Right. In the beginning of the song of Hot Heads, you know, my, you know, I remember when my sister was writing it, I'm like, yo, what are you talking about, sis? Like, what's popping right now? Yeah. And, um, you know, we recorded a clip before, if you guys check her Instagram, we recorded a clip before going into the studio. And she's like, yo, people are not talking the real things. Why is this track? different like so this track is different because i'm talking the real shit that's happening like a lot of people don't want to talk about what's going on in the city but or a lot of people just doing whatever in the city but you know there's a lot of fucked up shit going on in the city facts we have to talk Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. You guys are trying to act like you guys are in Atlanta. All these, like, we're from Toronto, fam. Like, <laughs> really talk about what's going on. Yeah, okay. You know, we have this side, but we have another side too. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's like when I was saying demons, 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 when it goes back back to PTSD, a lot of them have demons in them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You have to understand when you catch an M charge and you go to the bin, I work with you, come out of the bin. Yeah. You know what I mean? And you see how they move. Why you have so much grabber in that blunt? Why do you want to be so gone? It's because you don't want to think about what happened, what happened in the past. You know what I mean? Mm. You have a lot you're, you're dealing to suppress with. Something. You're suppressing it. You know yeah. what I mean? Hennessy, so now, blunt. Exactly. Yeah. So when, well, you're make, yeah. when they're making all these tracks and it's like, just suppress, 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 it's cool. That's a reality in a lot of cases, but there's also a lot of other realities. And guess what? The young ones coming up don't know the difference between a reality that happened to someone and how they're thinking now they're thinking that's the reality in life. And besides their own reality. You get me? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. going back to your question about um, being being independent, I think being independent is good. You know what I mean? Well, no. at, a, at the end of the day, it's all you got to do your research. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, sometimes a label is for somebody else and sometimes it's not. But but yeah. everyone thinks, oh, yeah, we got signed and da-da-da-da-da. But sometimes it's like, yo, you got signed. But 
you got a 360 deal or something like, <laughs> like do you do you, do you read that really do? they say yeah they give you a million dollars but my nigga they're gonna make that back times three off yeah you. now they're they getting money off your merch they're getting you know money off saying? every fucking thing so so yeah. so literally like and, and that's why I, as much as it's like i've been doing this for a long time and stuff like that i'm i'm still i, I don't got the, the 100k followers and all that shit but but guess what? I I'm I'm good because I've I've been building and I've been educating myself on every step that I've taken. Mm-hmm. Every you know what I'm saying? I'm involved in every part of everything I do. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's, it's 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 good, man. It's good. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Well, um Salute to him, some salute to Greasy Dex, yo. I, yeah. I, I I just I wanted to get into like a little industry conversation yeah. bounced off of while while going with him, you know what mm. I'm saying? 